Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different just because I was called to get a general message for somebody out there that needs to hear this right now. Um, so we're going to do um, a couple oracle cards and then we'll dive into the tarot. Okay, and so again, if you saw the title, then you're here for a reason. Okay, so uh, again, if this reading doesn't seem to resonate with you, it may not be your message this time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to dive right in and see what uh, what we need to know, what's going on in the collective out here, um, and who needs to hear a message today. Yeah, okay, we have children, blind, and drama. Okay. Yeah. So I think I already can see, I was kind of already picking this up in the energy here. Um, I do feel like, uh, there's somebody out here. Okay. And, and it's like, I don't know. It's like they, they've fallen for somebody and, and it's just kind of like, they don't really want to see the truth here. Okay. And I feel like whoever this is, they're dealing with a lot of drama and I think it has something to do with children okay so again if this is not your message then it's uh it's pretty clear energy coming out here for what the message is today uh yeah so I do feel like this person could be dealing with a third party and if that's not the case then it would be uh possibly somebody from their past it could be like a custody issue going on here um there is somebody here again it's like this person is is really lost right now and i think that whatever's going on on their side is causing like so much chaos and drama and um you know for for children to come out for the first card i think it has a lot to do with that okay so um let's keep going get a couple more here reflection yeah it's the dark night of the soul it's um you know and it's it is kind of bookending this blind so it's like this person really doesn't want to see this okay because i feel like um you know i feel like this connection with you you guys out here who whoever's resonating with this message um it's kind of caused them to take a look at their situation okay and so it's it's definitely causing like a dark night for them and i feel like this person really um i don't know it's like they really don't want to know it's like they want the answers but then again they want to kind of keep that blindfold on because i think deep down this person intuitively knows what what needs to be done here okay all right let's pull some more yeah <clears throat> okay again for some of you um your person definitely could be a single parent here okay again we're going to clarify this drama here but um the the thing is here there's two possible messages so it, it could be this person this dark night of the soul that they're going through right now um if they are connected to somebody else here and there are children involved uh it would be this person person knowing that they need to leave that situation okay leave the the third party not the children but the third party here okay so if they are with somebody else that would be them like having this epiphany that that's what needs to be done again i do feel like um if this is your person's situation i think they know if they were to try to get single and uh, disconnect from this whatever they have going on, it would lead to a lot of drama for them. Um, and so that could be a possibility why they've been putting this off. Okay. All right. Let's start clarifying here. Um, tell us more about children, please. Proposal, commitment, offer, asking out. Yeah. So again, this could be something to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they could already be in another commitment here. Do you know? Um, yeah, I think that's probably what this is. Let's keep going. Why is blind here? yeah see it's it's wow it's almost like the uh the opposite of this card right it's like i feel like in the past this person was definitely they didn't want to see even though they felt this connection with you and they so yeah it's like they they they've had some sort of during this dark night this reflection or whatever they've been doing they've had some sort of illumination here um again even if they were blinded to this truth in the past it's been illuminated now okay and so you know it's like they're starting to see um yeah they're starting to see things for what they are so again if this person just was staying in something because of a comfortability factor here or because they felt obligations here it's like mm, the truth is just too imminent now for them not to see okay all right drama why is it here signed yeah um you know i i don't know i think i just i did get this message this is um this is almost reminding me of some sort of like tower moment here that the universe is is orchestrating here it's like 
your person wanted to stay blind to this connection with you and they wanted to uh, maybe have their cake and eat it too and keep whatever they had. Uh, But the universe is like, no, no more of that. Like you're going to see we're taking the blindfold off of you and we're going to send you so many signs that you just can't ignore it. Okay, so this is what's been happening for your person here. Um, They're definitely all these signs and this is why they're in the dark night because it's just it's creating drama you know, in their connection now. So it's like this person, um, if they were just tolerating whatever they had on their side and they were just going with the flow here, not wanting to rock the boat, um, it's becoming too hard to not do that because of all these signs. I I feel like they're just getting them left and right right now. Um, And they're all pointing to you. So yeah, definitely some big epiphany is happening for for whoever uh, this message is for over here. All right, reflection heart string stringing along getting pregnant i'm not i'm not even feeling getting pregnant i mean although listen this could be tying back to children um there could actually be somebody on their side that possibly i don't know trapped them you know um, got pregnant and now they're really like um this kind of behavior is becoming illuminated to them okay it's it's stirring a lot up in this person's life okay and they um yeah it's it's almost like yeah, that that's going to be for somebody out there. I think that's a good possibility of what this person is coming to realize. Okay, um, and again for uh, for others of you, this is really like I think they've had some uh, epiphanies here too. When it comes to um, maybe they played with your feelings in the past here. Okay, so they could have strung you along, uh, not really wanting to make a decision here, and again have their cake and eat it too. So. If this is the case for you, then this would be exactly what's being illuminated to them by the universe here. So they they are aware of that. Um, All right, single. Only you. Yeah. So this is it. This person uh, wants to get free from whatever they have on their side. Uh, It's very clear here. Um, I did hear for some of you, you guys might be parents as well. Okay, so, um, you know, if the children are not on their side, it definitely could be on your side. And yeah, for some of you, I am getting too that this person, maybe they were nervous about committing um, to some of you because of children here, but it's like they, they've they realized that that's not, that's not going to be a factor because really their heart only wants you, you know? So again, that's going to be just for some of you, but I do think that this person knows what they want. They want to get single um, so that eventually it can, it can, you know, they can take this to the next level with you. So, okay. <laughs> a pretty specific message here so far. Um, again, this is general. So if you don't find yourself resonating with this, um, you know, I have a playlist of all the pick a cards. So, uh, again, pretty specific. So let's dive over to the tarot and, uh, see if there's anything else we can get on this person, um, what they're going through, what they're feeling towards you, what their actions may be here. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, followed by the Seven of Swords, yeah. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, yeah, so for a lot of you guys, this person definitely is in a marriage or a third party, like, connection here, okay? Um, and we can see the deception here with the Seven of Swords. So um, the Page of Cups coming out, you know, it's a small, it's a small gesture of love here. It could be an apology, and this person may want to apologize again, to you for stringing you along and not, um, not, uh, doing what their heart was telling them. Okay. Let's keep going. We'll get a little more. All right. Seven of sorts. What's bookending page of pentacles. Yeah. It's, it's like they, mm, yeah, they definitely could have breadcrumbed you here. I am getting that for some of you. It's just like small little, uh, breadcrumbs here. Um, very deceptive because I think we, we saw in the Oracle cards that it's like really only you and that they really would love to become single to be with you. Uh, so again, I think they probably hid that, um, and maybe just kind of kept it, mm, pretty surface with you as far as when it comes to feelings here. So, um, and then another level too, it's like, they feel like if they are in this connection here still, um, it's like they, they can only offer you this until they do what they need to do on their side to, to become single, you know? All right, let's keep going. It's bookending here. Yeah, it's the four of wands. So again, this is like, 
this person's just been, yeah, I mean, it's it's just small because of this four of wands that they're already in. So, I mean, we have the ten of pentacles, we have the four of wands. It's like, here they are in the middle trying to still keep you connected with them in some way until they make up make a decision here about this. But it's like, you know, they're also still, listen, I still feel like this person, um, yes, they're having the dark night. Yes, they're having all these epiphanies or getting all these signs about this connection with you. But at the same time, I am still feeling the energy of them still playing the part here with the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, especially for those of you where children are going to be involved, it's like they're just still going through the motions here. And I'm going to say for a lot of you that are resonating with this, there's definitely children involved here on, on either side or possibly both. Um, yeah. So with the, with the two pages out. So that's a, there's a couple layers here, but let's keep going. What's the page of cups? Okay, it's Ace of Wands. So it's like, you know, I'm just drawn. It's like this person's holding, this little page is holding the cup here and like just looking at it with a lot of admiration here. So again, I think um, there's a lot of admiration and feelings here for you. But, you know, again, this person could have been mm, pretty sexual with you in the past where it's like small offers here, like maybe just a sexual connection. Um but again, underneath that, it's like <laughs> there was there were there were always feelings here for you. There were always deeper feelings and emotions here for you than what I think this person led on. OK. All right. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's the King of Wands. Um, definitely. I, I do feel like your person definitely wore some type of mask here when it when it came to you in this connection. OK, very deceptive here. Um, again, there's a lot of like lusty energy coming from these cards. So I think for a lot of you, <clears throat> it may have started off sexual, but this person definitely caught feelings here. Okay. So it's, it's deeper than that for them now. And in fact, it's forced them into that dark night to where a lot of things are being illuminated. A lot of things that I thought they could just sit in, you know, that they thought they could just sit in on their side and just like, mm, this is tradition this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Wands, yeah. It's, <laughs> um, yes, this is this is this person looking out to the future, um, trying to make some plans on how to, yeah, not not stay in this Ten of Pentacles anymore. Okay, it's very clear. And again, the Seven of Swords can be like a strategy here too. But I am getting it's just an air of deception here with this. So it's like they don't want anybody to know that they're thinking about this, and at the same time. <clears throat> I think there there is a waiting energy so i don't you know i don't know time frames here i mean this person's definitely thinking about this um i think again the the connection with you has kind of put them in this tough spot like between a rock and a hard place right now but it's something that you know it's like do i want to lose this with the collective here do do i want to miss out on you know um something that i i have deep feelings for and someone i'm i'm really attracted to I mean, I'm going to tell you that this person, I, I think if they are in something else here, which I think, I mean, whoever's <laughs> reading this message here, I think, you know, pretty clear from the cards, this is what's going on for this particular reading. But yeah, it's like they have a lot of passion, a lot of desire for you. Um, and I do feel like they wish they could definitely give you more than just this page of pentacles type. So I, I don't, they don't want a breadcrumb, you know, they want to actually like have some sort of future here with you. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Page of pentacles. Ten of Wands, yeah, it's, it's a burden for them. That's exactly what I was just saying. It's like, it's such a burden that they can only give you this, you know? It's like, mm. and again, I think if we go back to the oracles over here, you can see where it's like, um, it's only you. And so that's why this is happening for them, okay? And so they know that they breadcrumbed, they strung you along possibly, um, and now all the signs, they just can't ignore them. So I definitely feel like this person's in their feels, um, and it, it's becoming really heavy here. Okay, uh, it's almost like they want to drop the deception here, okay, because they, pretty obvious as to where they want to be and what they want to leave. <laughs> All right, four of wands. Two of pentacles. Let's see, it's a choice. It's a decision. Um, it's become a heavy, heavy burden for this person here um, to stay with what they have. Um, it's really forcing them to reevaluate everything right now. So I am going to say, if you guys are resonating with this, um, the cards here are looking like 
this is about to become too heavy, this option, this decision, okay, that centers around this. And it's like, I I do feel too, I think your person now has started, yeah, they are, they're probably still playing their, their role here in this, whatever this 10 of pentacles is for them. Um, but it's almost like they're, they're only giving that too. So <clears throat> I think they're giving you a little more here with the, uh, with the emotion wise, but I think this person is, is pretty much just business on their side, you know, business as usual, again, trying to just, take care of their responsibilities, not really a lot of passion over here, you know? Um, yeah, it, and that's why it's like, they're just looking out, like waiting, waiting to jump into that water. And so again, for some of you, it definitely could be a timing thing here. Um, but yeah, I think, I think they're kind of tired of hiding these feelings for you here. Um, and I think it's really, mm, it's, it's becoming a pretty big burden on them to stay with what they have and not make this decision. So, all right, guys, I do hope this resonated for somebody out there. You guys will definitely have to let me know in the comments if you like this video, um, if it resonated for you. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want more pick a cards or general love readings like these, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified when I post more. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.